it's a real Americana, a farm and a silo. There are the reds. When I took it, I thought it was just right. The whites. I think it was very artistically done. And the blues. There's a feeling of brotherhood. Still images with miles behind them. Driving through Texas, Colorado, North Dakota. Just after the 9-11 attacks. And it's a real adventure, it, it's so much fun. Connecticut artist Bob Carley set out on a journey. America showed its resilience after 9-11, and um, I just wanted to do my part, and being an artist, I turned to photography. Armed with his old Nikon and a new perspective, Bob hit the road in hopes of helping us heal. Click after click. The project became a sort of capture the flag. I find something, then I find something else. It snowballs. The objective of Carly's work, called In the Wake of 9-11, was to chronicle the stars and stripes in as many mediums as possible. Right after 9-11, we had each other's back. We really took care of each other. I wanted this exhibit to um, inspire people and let them Remember, never forget. From Connecticut to Colorado. I took that shot on July 4th. Maryland to Montana. Little town, tiny town. 45 states and counting. I think the name of the town is LaSalle, Michigan. There is a book and the exhibit is being showcased at the Mattituck Museum in Waterbury. We hear a lot of people up in the exhibit, you know, talking about their recollections and, and where they were, you know, at, on 9-11. It's a really um, exciting exhibit to be able to put forth at the 20th anniversary mark. Front porches to back roads, cityscapes to angular shapes. I haven't seen anything like this. Bob will tell you a picture is worth a thousand words, and this week, maybe more. 9-11 was a great tragedy, but it showed Americans coming together, showing love to one another, and helping each other out, and we just need to remember it in Waterbury. Remember America at its best. Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.